This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. I'm looking at animation layers here, so I'll open the animation palette from the Edit Keyframes button here, and the Layers tab is just at the top. Now it's possible to separate specific animation sequences into layers, and this will give you a lot more control over your resulting animation. Now the bottom layer here is called the Base Layer, and that will contain the entire range of frames for your animation. This layer must always exist and it can't be deleted or renamed. And the base layer always starts at frame 1, but you can change the end frame which will change the range for your entire animation. Now to create a new layer, that's fairly straightforward, you just click on the New button here. And in this instance I'll just rename the layer Run Cycle. And if I hit on the Return key, you'll see that a new layer has appeared up here in the drop-down list. So there's the base layer and the run cycle layer. And you can see that's now updated on the cyan bar as well. Now only one layer can be selected at a time. You can see it highlighting there. And when you select you can change any of the parameters on the left-hand side here. So what I'm going to do first is actually set up a run cycle to go in that animation. So I've just made sure that that range is selected here. I'll just close the palette for the moment, and then I'll come into my Pose category, and I'll select the G2 Run Pose here, and I'll just apply that to the figure. This has now set up a 30 frame run cycle, so I'll change to the Posing Camera so you can see that. I'll just change the view slightly. I'll just click the Play button, and that's a standard run cycle. I'll stop that for the moment, then I'll come back into the layer palette here, and then I'll add another layer. So to do that I'll just click on the New button, and I'll call this one Relay Handoff. And there's the new layer there. Now it's also fairly simple to delete a layer, so if I just wanted to remove that one, I've made sure it's highlighted there, and I'll just click on the Delete button. I just got a confirmation box, and I click Yes. So I'll just create that again, I'll just add the new layer here, just call it Relay Handoff, and there you are. Now I want a set of range for that particular layer, so if I start at frame 10, and then I'll end the frame at frame 20, and you can see that new range appearing here. Now, now that I've created that, I'll actually set the pose for that, so I'll bring the marker here up to frame 10, and then I'll click on the Add Keyframe button down here. That's now selected a keyframe in the animation. And then I'll drag the slider here up to frame 15. And then coming back into the Document window then, I'll actually grab hold of the forearm here, and I'll pull it forward into a new position, as if Ryan's handing off a baton. So I'll just rotate the view a little bit here so I can position the arm. If I rotate the camera back again, there you are, you can see the new position for the arm there. Now, coming back into the Layers palette, I'll click on the Run Cycle here, and if I tick off the Including Playback entry here, when I come back into the Document window, it will only now replay that short section. So there, it's just replaying the movement I've just created, it's not including the main run cycle, just to make sure that animation's working. I'll just stop that, and then I'll come back into the palette again, and then I'll re-include the run cycle animation, and then I'll just come back into the document window, and I'll rewind back to the beginning, and then I'll just step through the animation. And when we come up to about frame 15, you'll see that the arm is extending there, and then it's coming back quite quickly. So if I actually play the animation and let it loop, you can see the arm is being pulled back a little bit jerkily there. So I'll again stop the animation, and I'll bring it back to about frame 15. And again I'll open the palette, I'll click on the Relay Handoff layer, and here you can see there are Blend In and Blend Out frames, so if you find that motion's becoming a little bit jerky, in the case of the 
relay hand off hand here i'll just click on that and add six frames of blend out motion so with any luck that should smooth the animation just a little bit now again i'll click the palette closed and i'll just replay the animation again that animation is just slightly smoother now it's nearly imperceptible with only six frames but it has smoothed it out a little bit so if i just stop here and if i just advance through the frames from about frame 10. I'll just click one at a time. And the animation is now a little bit smoother. There you are. The arm's coming back to a more natural position. I'll just click the play button, the animation will continue.